So now that we're done with that, now what do you think would happen if I posted a comment and I clicked submit? Well, based on the key players that we talked about, the submit is going to be handled by the core file, wp-comments-post. It's going to take care of adding the post to the database. And then comes the tricky part. It's going to redirect me to single.php. Single.php. Now, do I want the user to be redirected to single.php? Absolutely not. As a matter of fact, I don't want the user to even know of the existence of single.php. Actually, you are going to delete single.php altogether so that there will be no existence to single.php in this theme because it does nothing for us in this case. Okay, so how do I prevent the system from redirecting to single.php when it's done adding the post to the database? Well, based on our key players, the file that's doing all the dirty work and the heavy lifting is wp-commons-post and it's in the main WordPress folder. So when I get there at the very bottom, the last line actually it says WP redirect and that location is very logical. So when it's done all the work, the last thing it does is that before quitting is that it redirects you. Now this parameter that it's taking, location, that's being calculated in the two lines above it. So what we're going to do is we're going to hard code our own location. And this location could be anything. So let's say if we put www.hotmail.com. What would happen is that after the user clicks the comment submit button, the post will be added and then they'll find themselves being redirected to the Hotmail website. Now obviously when your blog is live, you want to add your own actual blog address. But since we're doing this on localhost, the address that I need to give it Get yours now from Amazon.com.